Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of MakerBox Monday, we're going to have a look at a Protopasta Matte Fiber HT PLA. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is from Protopasta and it's called Matte Fiber HT PLA. And here they say you use, use hot end at temperature 190 to 230 and bed temperature room to 70C, um, print speed 30 to 90 millimeters a second and they note hardened nozzle is not required. And here they say printed parts have a low luster textured surface which create a highly desirable contrast between light and shadow. Texture, color and scene can be somewhat manipulated by printer settings as well as post processing. Printed parts can also be smoothed or weathered uh, with paint for alternative aesthetics. The plant-based fibers lend well to adhesion of paint and other aesthetic coatings. And you can get more information at protopasta.com or proto-pasta.com. So this is the filament. And let's have a look at the print. So first I did some stringing test and I was getting, getting a lot of stringing with this filament. Um, uh, maybe later adhesion was not so great, <laughs> but I, I moved on to my MakerCoin and that came out pretty nice. Uh, you can see how, how the, the, like deep blue and matte finish, so it has a very nice look to it. Uh, the MakerCoin came out pretty good. I uh, noticed a little bit of stringing in the letters, but the, the surface finish is like, uh, like a rough uh, for fiber uh, surface, so it's a uh, different to the touch than a PLA, normal PLA. So it, it can definitely have, have a good uh, alternative in regard of surface. But as you can see, there's a small amount of stringing in this model. I then did my Mr. Belly model, and that came out pretty good, except the stringing. And you can see the stringings in the hands and in the feet. And it was trying to test layer adhesion, and it's not very high <laughs> layer adhesion. It's very easy to, to break apart. So that was uh, maybe not not very good. It doesn't have very good layer adhesion. So Mr. Belly is all, all broken up. <laughs> and here's the Odyss model by Gareth. And here I was getting pretty good surface quality, like here in the in the back, has a nice surface quality, but uh, stringing is a real problem. And even though it's very easy to remove the strings, it's you know, I was playing around with temperature and a little bit, but I didn't get rid of the stringing. But so that's maybe the the fault of this filament. And here's the serial layers a lot, and that came out excellent except the stringing. If I look past the stringing, the, the surface quality is really nice and the color is awesome. It's a really dark blue color and you can easily get rid of the strings with, with a heat gun. So it's, it's not very, it's like just a very thin, thin web of strings. So it's not difficult to remove, but still, still, it's, uh, uh, still it's a little bit of an issue with this filament. But uh, let's try to use a heat gun and see how, how, the, how it goes. So as you can see with a little work with the heat gun, uh, the stringing was mostly gone. A little bit left here on the feet, but it's not difficult to remove the strings. So even they're quite visible, it's not difficult to remove. So this was my quick look at the matte fiber HD PLA from Protopasta. As you can see, I got really nice prints, uh, except uh, stringing. Uh, and maybe layer adhesion was not so great, but the surface quality and the surface finish of this filament is really nice. It's a very like noble blue. Uh, color and um, it's looking really nice and um, just if you're printing some objects you have to spend a little bit time of, of cleaning the strings and you can use a heat gun or, or knife to, to remove them 
So if you have application for this color, it's a, it's a nice nice filament. I thank you for watching, and I'll hope you like and share and subscribe and all that. And I'll see you in the next one.